It's our very own wild game bags by 60 inch club. That's right, and before you say it, this is not your ordinary meat bag at all. They've been tested here in Alaska by myself and by other hunters for the last two years. Putting handles into the bottom of these bags is what has set us apart from everybody else. We put a handle at the bottom end of this bag. Um, you got one end, it's got the double drawstrings on one end, and that cinches tight, and then you have the handle at the bottom end of the bag and it aids in carrying that meat around. They're strong, durable, and before you even say it, this is not one of your overpriced pillowcases any longer. We put a ton of research and ingenuity into these bags. Every part of these bags have been engineered to be useful out in the field, and with the weight of the bag being tied to the pole, it cinches the bag around the hawk, the meat of the animal, keeping out the nasty blowflies that get in there and lay eggs through the material. The first year was really a good fun year in testing these bags out and having them sewed up um, per our specifications and sewn with the little stitches on the side of the bag so they don't rip out on the sides. Uh, we, the bottom of the bag is, is developed with a one and a half roll up from the bottom, stitching that with the highest grade and strongest stitching yarn that you can get, as well as the handle that's um, been put into the bottom of the bag. These bags have to hold 120 pounds. All other bags are designed for a one person movement. Our patented design is brought in to allow two people to effectively and efficiently move these bags together. The blend of nylon into our bags was there for a reason because synthetic is actually obviously much stronger than cotton and the blend together gives you a nice strong and cool bag for the preservation of your meat. We got four quarter bags. Okay, it's a 30 by 60 inch bag. You got two meat bags. They're half the size of that. No more wasted material. Um, they are meant for, you know, your hamburger and this, the meat chunks coming off of uh, the neck meat and all that goes into that. And then the last bag is the smallest of, of, of the set and that's for your back strap and tenderloin. It goes in its own clean bag away from all the meat chunks and burger stuff, meat that you've been cutting off of that animal. Um, and you can take that back to camp with you. We are so happy to present and give you guys a good quality product that, uh, that's going to be able to serve you for many years. So the brown bag is also a bonus feature. It's meant and was actually designed by my wife to hang in the back of a tent. And then because she wanted the ability to be able to hang it in the tent without anything coming out of it. Because once you're done with the inside contents of the, of the bags, this is now a backpack organizer. And you can see that you'll be able to see your contents that are inside the material uh, that's inside the bag. So for now, all your, you pull out your your meat, meat bags, and you have a, this will hang in your tent. You can put your long underwear and your socks or your, whatever you want to put in here. And this, this bag is actually a bonus feature. It's about a $25 bag if you were to buy a similar backpack organizer from, from a other company. Uh, it's just part of, the, part of the bag. We designed this to be useful from one end to the other.